Hey you! Today I'm going to show you how to make Nuka-Cola bottle caps for props or your own personal collection. This project uses bottle caps, acrylic paint, spray paint, sealant, and glue. First we'll need to color the caps. One method is to hand paint them. Cover the cap in thin layers and let dry. Apply multiple coats as needed. Another method that I prefer is spray paint. It gives the caps a glossy appearance and makes them look more authentic and also covers the cap more evenly than acrylic paint. Next we need the logo. The easiest method for this is to print the logo off and glue it directly onto the cap. I created this logo in Photoshop. You can easily search for them online. Cut out your logo, I'm using a 1 inch punch, then coat the back of the paper and glue the logo onto the cap. Press down on the sides to make the paper sit as flatly as possible. We will try to lessen the edge of the paper further in this next step, which is sanding. Using sandpaper or even a nail file, grind down the edges of the paper. It helps to lessen the ridge left by the paper and it distresses the cap in the process. Now we can use some paint to give the caps their grungy look. I mixed up some lighter brown and try focusing the paint around the edges of the paper and smudging away the excess as I go, creating a stained look and helping to further hide the paper border. Then I use a darker brown with a sponge and create a more splattered look. And after that, lightly add some orangey brown to make the caps appear rusted. Once you've reached your desired look, you can choose to seal your caps. This protects the paper from damage, stops paint from chipping, and also adds to the glossy look we're trying to achieve. If you don't have spray gloss, Mod Podge will work too. Once everything is dried, your caps are finished. If you're still feeling crafty, you can swap the red paint for blue and make some Nuka Cola Quantum caps as well. Now your only job is to decide what to do with them. You can use them for a decoration piece, drill a hole and make some jewelry, or glue some magnets on and stick them to your fridge. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching!